This is Brian Gugliotti. So uh, I just waited out a passing thunderstorm and uh, definitely gave me some time to look at the local landscape here. I had to find a tree that would uh, have enough leaf cover to provide me with some shelter from the rain. And while I waited out the storm, I noticed some things. First off, I know this, but it looks like, to me, I think this is an observation stone. Or at least this flare off here from the glacial boulder here. Um, if you uh, look, you'll see what look like placement stones inside the, uh, inside the uh, gap between the two stones. You've seen that before. And if you look up, you might notice a row of stones. It's really hard to see. Um, but in any case, that's due north. And if I shift a little bit to my uh, left, excuse me, my right, I see another prominent stone right there. From the perspective of this observation stone, flare off that's 15 degrees um i also uh observed this wall here i noticed that it seems to uh bend a little bit and um when i uh, looked at the wall from the point just before the bend. See the bend? Right along there. And it ends in that big glacial erratic right there. Well, if you look at the space comprising the sector just before the bend and the bend itself, the end of the bend, You'll notice that you are looking at the larger of the two boulders right in front of you. So it seems like this bend was designed to force us to look at both of these very large glacial erratics that have uh, been put here by uh, either glaciers or some people may say giants. I tend to lead toward the glacial theory myself. Another thing I noticed, it's very strange, you know, why there's this dip here. It had to have been for a reason. It almost looks like it, there's a seat right here, you know, you're meant to sit down. So I imagined if I did sit down, what would I be looking at? And I'd be looking at that boulder right there. And specifically, I'd be looking at maybe the uh, left side of the flat side of the uh, big glacial boulder. That's to the right. And also maybe the other boulder that uh, is to the uh, left further in the distance. I'd be looking at that gap right there. And I got a 330 degree slash 150 degree azimuth from that, in that space. It seems to align up with this seat right here. So there's a lot going on here as usual. 